underwater. So I'm on my way down to the family office. Get a nice cool air conditioning. <laughs> basically like territory that's remained the same okay islanders it's the next day here at russell island and we are exploring down at the ferry terminal right now because tomorrow we're going to be down here again for very good reason tomorrow is our mainland uh mainland day for us islanders because we'll be uh, shopping tomorrow at the mainland like I always do every fortnight. This will probably most likely be the last one before the new timetable comes through as well. A lot of services are being cut down again, so yeah. I don't approve of this new updated timetable. I don't. Quite happy with the um, with the old schedule. Thanks very much. The one that's currently in use now. So that's so yeah. All these spaces are full. They're usually full by four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> like a little mini caravan and on it um, included. To the right. It's very rare to find those around the island as well. Fiat. There's a Fiat. A, a yellow Fiat. That, that, that's actually very rare to find Fiats on this island. Go back to the road. The high street. actually came across someone um, just before I commenced filming and I actually knew him because he actually shows up to the karaoke and open mic events at the RSL. He was at the, mo he was at the most recent karaoke session at the RSL that just passed by on uh, Saturday. Extended family on the far left there. That's their signage. Yeah, boat ramp. Yeah, the, uh, what should I say? The Jock Kennedy Park mm -hmm. is where we're going to be heading to next. And just look at that. Uh, the weather looks kind of evil. Cold, like you can actually cold. see it. Look at how evil it looks. Anyways, I'll see you Islanders over at the boat ramp. Okay, Islanders, and look at this. The old, the old Queensland government sign is still standing there. Even though they don't use that, they haven't used that logo for at least 12 years. Even though they haven't used the, uh, the old signage for 12 years, it's still standing there. And look at the sky, it looks kind of evil. And all the boats around here like you can actually see whenever you're ready we can just back out mm -hmm. and you can actually see that there's a couple of passenger ferries down there too mm. they haven't adopted the new livery as of yet and there's all the boats right along that side all of them just anchored up and um, yeah we'll let these three do their fishing. Don't want to disturb the fish, chase them off. Nah, I think I think they'll I think I think it's more like the fishing rods that they're throwing in is chasing them off. <laughs> yeah. But it attracts them as well because of the bait. Yes. Yeah, if you put bait on there they'll obviously go for it. And we certainly remember the uh, the mess that 
that they haven't cleaned up. They haven't cleaned up the mess. That shelter is still unrepaired. That's slack right there. Yeah, it's, like it's, like, it's like the islands are not maintained at all. They'll lose some jobs and just leave it exactly the way it is. Okay, Islanders, here we are down at the other boat ramp, the oyster boat ramp, where all the oysters are underwater, normally, at a high tide. And it looks like the tide is currently running out. So I doubt that the oysters will even be underwater right now. But I will check. All right, let's check Islanders. Let's see if the oysters are underwater. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not underwater. Okay, well that answers my question. The oysters aren't underwater. So yeah, um, yeah, the oysters aren't even underwater. That's a pretty shocking surprise. We're just backing out now and um, proceeding down. I'm not sure how much longer we have until the rain starts pouring down, Islanders. So we're just trying to be real quick here. Just to make sure we get everything here and then back inside the house before it starts raining. And I've also got a parcel as well, Islanders, that I'm going to sort through as well. And it's, it's, obvious, it's obviously from eBay, so I'm going to make sure that I obviously... Because there's a couple of things I ordered on Amazon. And I know that I'll be expecting one of them. I'm actually expecting two. But one of them I'd be expecting in... I think I'm expecting both by the 9th of May. And I know which one I think it will be. It probably will be the one that's... It's probably the, it's probably the, uh, probably the Carrier King t-shirt that I ordered. Alright, well... I'll see you Okay, Islanders, look where we are now, Sandy Beach. Considering everything that's happening around here, where else other than Sandy Beach, right? And yes, Islanders, tomorrow we're heading over the mainland. We've got another, um, we've got a mainland shopping to do, the last one before the, before the new timetable adjustment. Luckily, luckily the um, luckily the leaving section of um, Russell Island is still intact. Um, yeah, so so of course the uh, the ferry service for me to leave Russell Island for the mainland um, that's been unaffected. That's obviously still that that timetable still sits today. So we'll obviously be holding on to that schedule for as long as we can. <coughs> um, the, um, the heading home section, though, that's obviously had to. That will obviously need to be adjusted to be five minutes earlier. So yeah, I probably will be down over at the um, ferry terminal around the same time, anyways, um, so that we can head back on that ferry service be back at Russell Island in due time again. <clears throat> I think it's going to be, so yeah, so that's probably the only service that's obviously had the least update. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's alright there in that sector, but I believe it would be the following services that are of concern. But, uh, believe me, when we get to that, we'll get to that. And there it is, the water at North Stradbroke Island. Yeah, the, um, the population of the south of the southern side of North Stradbroke is relatively low. It's like very few people that live there. And that's because the that's because the heart, like the like like the heart of the hub, is all located on the north side of North Stradbroke. Dunwich Point Lookout. A mini point, 
etc. Those places right there, that is where the heart of North Stratbrook's located. Civilization is all up there. And as you can see over here, um, there's some people that have obviously done some, um, some work right here. They're like, what are they, cleaning the footpaths or something? I think that's probably what they are. I don't know. 